Today we'll be going over how to build a simple system in Resolution. To begin, select the views that best fit your preferred workflow. For this example, I'll have Project Explorer and Properties open on the left and Array View open on the right. Next, add an array by clicking on the plus button in the toolbar. Rename the array. Then select a product to insert into the model. Let's select a QX396, then the gray box configuration that will be used. Finally, enter any parameters as it pertains to speaker position. Click Finish once done. Once the array has been added, it's possible to access processing parameters by clicking the EQ window under Properties. Any changes to gain or delay can be made here. You may also invert, mute, or enable or disable the speaker. EQ and filter settings may also be established as well. If you wish to reset some or all changes made to EQ, simply click Reset or Reset All. Now, let's fine-tune speaker position, aiming, and tilt angles. Using the Properties window, manually enter the XYZ coordinates. It's also possible to adjust bottom height, max and minimum trim, as well as hang style, tilt, Roll and aim of the speaker. Changing aim angle may also be accomplished by clicking and dragging on the horizontal coverage indicator. In top view, the speaker may be moved along the y-axis by clicking and dragging. To move freely, hold down shift while dragging. Changing tilt angle is possible by clicking and dragging on the vertical coverage indicator. Alternately, hovering over the speaker in array view and using the scroll wheel on a mouse can also change this parameter. In side view, the speaker may be moved along the z-axis by clicking and dragging. Let's now clone house right to complete the mains. This can be done by right-clicking on the array, or by clicking the clone button next to the array in Project Explorer. Click the plus button to add a subarray. For this example, we'll use SB1002. Now add some microphones to measure the system response. A quick way to do this is to right-click on a surface and select Add Mic Grid. To create an SPL map, click the SPL button in the toolbar. The SPL range will most likely need to be adjusted. To do so, click on the ruler to the right of the modeling window. SPL mode may also be configured here as well.
SPL mode may also be changed using menus at the bottom right-hand corner of Resolution.